Hello! Happy Sunday, everybody! Review time! Sorry, I was yay. Actually, I trying to unblock my ear. Two for one. Alright. So, um, I finished, finally, The Salmon Overture by Neil Gaiman. Jake is sleeping right now because of the salmon. <coughs> Hear him snoring? He's dreaming. Alright. So, I'm giving this three stars. So, backstory. So, I tried to read The Salmon, I think, last year or the year before. I can't remember. Volume 1. Because I love Neil Gaiman. And I was so confused reading it. Plus it was so dark I couldn't see the illustrations. So I just could not get into it and I stopped reading it. So, sorry. Food in my mouth. So, <clears throat> our library is doing a graphic novel book club. And my co-worker picked this book to read. And I'm since I'm co-hosting it. I figure, what the heck, I'll give it a shot again. Plus, he said the illustrations are really good, and they are. So, this book takes place, I guess it's kind of a prequel. But, um, it still was confusing, but not as bad. Um, so basically, in this one, Morpheus, a.k.a. Dream, um, kind of did something bad a while ago, and... Was supposed to kill something and never died, and now the stars have gone mad, and the world's gonna end. So he has to figure a way how to stop that from happening. You get to meet his siblings' death, delirium, desire. I forget the other ones. And of course, his mom, who is night and his dad time. Um, and very interesting. Uh, different drawings for each of the siblings uh, and the parents. Um. And it just took me forever to read it because it was so big and so long. And I liked it. I mean, I didn't stop reading it. Um, I'll show you the excellent graphics. Kitty cat. So, I... And the fold-outs are great in the two. I think there's like two fold-out pages in it. Um, so, yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I may have to take a revisit and read Sandman again. Now that I kind of understand the characters and the storyline... Oh, the creepiest guy in here was, uh, I think his name is not Constantine, it's, uh, Corinthian. Uh, his, his eyes are teeth. He's so creepy. I'm like, that's the creepiest character in here. Um, I love Hope, though. I love the character Hope. She's probably my favorite in this book. So, alright, so that's it. I recommend it if you like Neil Gaiman. So that's, uh, The Sandman by Neil Gaiman. And I give it three stars. Alright guys, have a great night. Until next time, happy reading. Bye!